Shalom, I give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, I give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere brothers pushing this word across the four corners of the earth. This is an article from WAPT.com, and the title says, Many breakfast cereals still contaminated by weed killer, environmental group says. This was published on June 12, 2019. Several popular breakfast foods, including Cheerios and Nature Valley products, continue to test positive for trace amounts of a controversial herbicide that may increase the risk of cancer, according to a report released Wednesday by an environmental advocacy group. An environmental working group, which has links to the organics industry, found that all 21 of the products it tested had levels of glyphosate that were higher than what EWG scientists considered protective for children's health. Manufacturers maintain that their foods are safe and the findings are not unprecedented. The group also found in October that most of the breakfast cereals it tested contained glyphosate, the main ingredient in the weed's killer roundup. The new report follows two permanent legal verdicts that determine the herbicide caused cancer in plaintiffs. And that's very true because you look up this harmful chemical that Esau uses and it's the main ingredient in roundup, which is a weed killer. It's very harmful to the human body. And here it is that this so-called Caucasian is using this in breakfast cereals. And this is part of his New World Order agenda to try to depopulate the world. And so glyphosate is a harmful chemical and it causes all types of harmful diseases such as leukemia, sperm damage, infertility, DNA damage, autism, endocrine disruption. You know, it causes also a cancer called multiple myeloma, which is a type of cancer that it accumulates cancerous cells in the bone marrow. And then you start having damages of the bones, you know, the kidneys, you know, or things of that such. And you also, you know, of course, your immune system breaks down. But here it is that they are protecting this type of chemical to, you know, letting the people know that it's okay to take, you know, it's all right. It's nothing harmful going on here. And this should show you that this so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks about. Cause you look up the word devil or deceiver in the free dictionary or any other type of dictionary, it goes into fraudster, con man, liar, betrayer, you know, someone that who mislead. And that's the spirit that Yahweh Bashar Shai has placed on these so-called Caucasians, who are the biblical Edomites. And that's to let you know who they are according to biblical prophecy, you know. And that leads me to Job 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. And these so-called physicians there in America, they really are doctors. You look up the word doctor, it goes into to falsify. That's what Esau is when he deals with these pharmaceutical drugs. Because all these pharmaceutical drugs have all types of side effects to it, even death. And right here on this article, how it pushes out this glyphosate, that's very toxic to the body. But here it is, you telling the people in the masses that it's okay to take, you know, it's all right. It won't do you any type of harm. So you are all physicians of no value because at the end of the day, this is Esau's plan to depopulate the world. And that's his part of George's Guidestones. It says to maintain human population under 500 million. Okay, back to the article. It says, juries say glyphosate causes cancer awards billions. A federal jury unanimously determined in March that Roundup was a substantial factor in causing a California man's cancer. And last month, California jurors ordered the manufacturer, Monsanto, to pay over $2 billion to a couple who said long-term exposure to the product caused their cancers. The latter verdict is being appealed, but about 11,000 similar cases are pending in state and federal courts. Pharmaceutical giant Bayer AG, which now owns Monsanto, maintains that its product is safe. There you go right there. It leads right back to Job 13 and 4 that they are forgers of lies. Everything that this so-called white man pushes, promotes to the public or masses, it's a lie. It's a scam at the end of the day. It's a hidden agenda. And this hidden agenda is part of the New World Order plan to depopulate the earth. A spokeswoman for the company's crop science subsidiary, Charla Lord, said that an extensive body of science and the conclusions of regulators around the world show that glyphosate based products are safe when used as directed and we just read about how harmful glyphosate is to the human body it's toxic this is something that esau uses to kill weed you know but if you really think about it how it says that he's physicians of no value like those different type of weed killers that they use to kill weed those weeds are healthy for you those are plants right there and you look up the word 
We, it goes into something that's undesirable, not wanted. But those weeds that Esau uses to kill off, those plants are healthy for you. You can make teas out of them. It has so many health benefits to the body. But here it is, Esau, the so-called white man being the devil, as the Bible states. He uses this to kill off the weeds because he knows deep down that those plants or those different weeds are very healthy for the body, man. And it says right here that General Mills, which manufactures all of the products tested in the EWG report, said in a statement that its top priority is food safety. Yeah, okay. The company noted that the most crops grown in fields use some form of pesticides and trace amounts are found in the majority of food we all eat, but said it was working to minimize the use of pesticides and ingredients we use in our foods. So here is in America, aka Babylon the Great, that we are eating pesticides in our foods. And this was all prophesied by Yahweh by Shion Shai, that when we come over here to America and also the four corners of the earth where we're going to be scattered due to the curses, we're going to eat our foods defiled. And this is Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, Even thus should the children of Israel, who are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. So that's why we're in a situation right now we're in that we are having pesticides in our different cereals. And we are inhaling chemtrails. You know, we eat GMO foods. And the list goes on. So that's all prophecy right there. And it leads me to the book of Psalm 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Because these different elites of these other nations, they believe that they're going to fully get their new world order implemented. But how about Shao Shah is going to upset them with biblical prophecy? Soon as they get done getting a lot of things done with the new world order, because they are going to get a lot achieved. But that's when Yahweh Shah, he's going to come back and he's going to rectify things on this planet earth so they are imagining a vain thing thing they're gonna rule forever verse 2 the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the lord and against his anointed saying the lord's anointed are the israelites starting with the elect on this side let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh the lord shall have them in derision and they all gonna be in derision because you how about your is going to upset them with his returning back and this leads me to Job 24 chapter and the 14th verse. The murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy and in the night is as a thief. And the murderer, according to the scriptures, is Esau, a.k.a. the so-called Caucasians today. And the poor and needy are going to the Israelites because the situation and conditions that we are in right now, we are poor and needy. We are spiritually poor. We are physically poor. We are spiritually needy. We are physically needy. And we spiritually needy of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We need him to return back. And majority of our people, they are spiritually in need because they don't know who they are. You know, they think that America is their resting place. You know, or wherever captivity that Yahweh Bashar Shai has scattered our people, they think that particular land is their resting place. So, you know, a lot of our people that come from other countries, they come to America, they think that America... It's the kingdom. You know, they really live it. You know, they love it here. And it says, and in the night is as a thief. Then jump down to the 24th verse. It says, they are exalted for a little while. It's going to these different elites. You know, mainly um, Amalek. It says, but are gone and brought low. And that's what how Bashan Shah is going to do. He's going to, he has them raised up for a certain moment of time. And he's going to bring them down. They are taken out of the way as all other and cut off as the tops of the ears of corn. And if it be not so now, who would make me a liar? Because you have about Shah Shah stated that he's not a man that he should not lie. So when he say he's going to do something, you best believe that it's going to get implemented. And make my speech nothing worth. So that's the point of the video. And, you know, the title says many breakfast cereals still contaminated by weed killer environmental group says. So that's how you know we are in the last days that cause things like this. It can't keep going on, you know, that we have pesticides that we are consuming in our bodies. And, you know, that type that, that causes all types of different cancers right there. But through the spirit of power, you have by Sean Shai and he's looking out for his hopefully lit and little wind. We are part of that number. 
And this is Lamentations, the third chapter and 22nd verse. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Yahweh Bashanshah knows exactly what he's doing and he knows exactly what we are consuming as far as these different pesticides and all type of harmful GMOs. But at the same time, through the spirit and grace and power of Yahweh Bashanshah, you know, he's protecting us, you know? So one thing we gotta do is our part in this work and how about Shao Shai, he's gonna take care of the risk. And he's definitely gonna bring this so-called white man down because something like this can't keep going on. The earth is in need of a new management and that new management is gonna be under the umbrella of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And when he has his, you know, his elect of the nation of Israel, and we're gonna be, Lord willing, gonna be the rulers of the earth. And that's when we're gonna rectify everything. Everything is gonna be a reset. And that's what we're looking forward to. So things like this just can't keep going on because it has to be stopped. And Lord willing, that's going to be very soon. So with that, I hope you all were edified. Like, give all under glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash. The abundance again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, sincere brothers. Shalom.